latest victim of Shiv Sena's high-handedness is former BJP member and scholar Sudhendra Kulkarni. The method employed by the workers of Shiv Sena was to blacken Kulkarni's face using oil paint. He was subjected to this for his insistence to continue with the book launch of former Pakistan Foreign Minister Khurshid Kasuri in Mumbai. Despite the almost instantaneous condemnation that has followed, Shiv Sena isn't remorseful and said that this act is a very mild form of democratic protest. But where does this tradition of blackening the face come from? Now, according to the book Public Violence in Islamic Societies, the Quran calls the human face as the seat of honor. The human face undergoes disfigurement as he burns in the fires of hell for his sins on earth. So, punishment in Arab societies has always included blackening of the face as a form of public punishment to indicate disgrace, shame, and a loss of social rank. From this nugget of information, one can deduce that this tradition of blackening the face came to India with the Mughal rulers from Afghanistan. In the last century, this practice was mostly used against women to denote shame and loss of grace. This practice has made a comeback and seems to be the choice of protest against public figures in India. One of the earliest incidences happened in 2010 when the mayor of Pune, Mohan Singh Rajpal, was attacked with black paint for his comments to dismantle the statue of Babaji Kondyo from Pune's iconic Lal Mahal monument. Black ink was also hurled at Yoga Guru Baba Ramdev in 2012 while he was lobbying the government to get black money back into India. Then came AAP chief Arvind Kejriwal's turn. Kejriwal was attacked with black ink at a press conference in 2014. AAP founder Yogendra Yadav too was meted the same treatment. His face was smeared with black ink at a press conference in 2014 in Delhi. Sahara chief Subroto Roy wasn't spared either. Black ink was thrown at him while he was attending a court hearing in 2014. 